Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooking for a Picky Eater. Uh, tonight we're going to be making chicken and penne pasta with a vodka sauce. This is one of Sean's absolute favorite dishes, and I hope you really enjoy it. To begin this recipe, let's talk about our ingredient list. Um, I have over on my stove a pot of water that's going to boil for our noodles. We're going to be using penne pasta. I am going to be making our sauce today in a cast iron skillet. That is my favorite way to make a vodka sauce. And I'm going to be grilling our chicken on the George Foreman today. Uh, we're going to be adding into the sauce a carrot, a clove of garlic, half of this Spanish onion. We are going to be using one can of tomato sauce, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce along with a larger 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes um, that are unseasoned. Uh, you do not want to use a crushed tomato or a tomato sauce that has basil or any kind of oregano or Italian seasonings in it. That, we're, that is not the flavor that we're going to in this dish. Um, we're going to be using some vodka, a little bit of ground nutmeg, some black pepper and some salt, um, and then at the very end of the recipe, right before we serve it, we're going to be using some heavy whipping cream. Um, for our chicken, if you remember yesterday uh, when I made the chicken marsala, I portioned out some of these uh, chicken breasts. We we're going to be using two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that we're going to slice into thin pieces, and we're going to grill up to serve over the top of our pasta with vodka sauce. We are going to start by preparing our vegetables. We're going to cut both ends off of the carrot but we are not going to peel the carrot. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, grate the carrot until we get about a half a cup of grated carrot. And it took just, just over half of this carrot to get there. Okay. So maybe, maybe a little bit over a half cup of uh, grated carrot. And then we're going to prepare this onion. If you cut both ends off of the onion and then slice into one side of it, you can very easily pull the skin off of the onion. Okay. And then we're going to cut this onion in half. We're only going to use half of the onion today. Turn it on its side. Slice through the onion with the halved side down. Come back in and give it a couple of cuts the other way. And then go ahead and slice right down through. And this will be done nice and quick. And you won't cry if you can <laughs> do it like that. So we've got our onion, we've got our carrot. I'm going to go ahead and chop up this clove of garlic get the ingredients ready and I'll be right back. Okay, we have our cast iron skillet heating up. Uh, to that we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of good olive oil. I'm using an extra virgin olive oil. I think the olive taste in this is very good. We are going to add in our vegetables. We have the uh, grated carrot, we have the onion, and we have the garlic. I should have mentioned that you could toss all of this into a food processor and just uh, whip it up and make it real fine. Um, I like having a couple of pieces uh, uh, as far as texture is concerned, but if your family does not like chunks, you can absolutely throw this in the food processor and that would be absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to soften this until they get translucent. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add some more ingredients. Okay, we're working on getting our uh, vegetables cooked. Uh, to them we're going to add one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one half teaspoon of chicken base or a bouillon cube or the bouillon powder. We're going to add just a little bit of water. We're going to give that a stir. Okay, 
to that, we are going to add a half a stick of butter. And we are going to add 50 milliliters of vodka. Okay, let this come back up to temperature. Let the butter start to melt. And then you're going to add the can of tomato sauce and the can of crushed tomatoes. Stir this all together and then you're going to bring this back up to a simmer and you're going to let this go for about a half hour. Our sauce has been cooking between 10 and 15 minutes now and I just wanted to check back in to give you a little tip. Um, as you can see here I have cut our chicken breasts in half and I have them sitting on our poultry uh, cutting mat. Um, the reason I'm doing this is we're going to let this sit out for just a little while. Now I am not an advocate of leaving meat out unrefrigerated but 15 minutes on these chicken breasts to let them come to room temperature will create an atmosphere where they will cook more evenly in the George Foreman. If you take them right out of the refrigerator and put them right on the heat, the inside will take longer to cook than the outside. And so by the time you've got the center of the chicken breast up to 165, which is safe for consumption, the outside is really, really tough. So do yourself a favor, take these out about 15 minutes ahead of time and just let them sit. Um, salt and pepper, and then we're going to throw them right on the George Foreman. Um, we'll let that time elapse, and I'll be right back. Okay, our pasta has been simmering for a half an hour. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is uh, heat up our George Foreman. It takes about five minutes for that to heat up. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to turn the burner right off uh, for the pasta sauce, and we're going to let it uh, stop simmering. We're going to let it settle down a little bit before we add in our cream. The chicken is in the George Foreman. Uh, the sauce is to a point where it's barely bubbling. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add um, some heavy cream to this. And we're going to add it uh, until this looks um, a nice light orange color. If you'll notice, I'm not adding any sugar to this, um, and I also do not add any sugar to my red sauce, my Sunday sauce, and the reason being is I use other means by which to uh, reduce the acidity in this. Um, at the very beginning, when we grated and added the carrot, that did the trick for this. Uh, and when I do my red sauce, I add a sweet red wine instead of a dry wine and that helps to counter the acidity of the tomatoes when I make my sundae sauce. Okay, so this looks about right. It's a uh, light orange or a light pink color. Uh, once we've got that incorporated, turn the heat back on to low, uh, just so that it stays nice and warm. We'll let the chicken finish, we'll boil our pasta, and we'll be right back. If you don't already have one, do yourself a favor and get an instant read meat thermometer. Uh, when your chicken reaches 165 degrees, it is safe for consumption. Uh, we have sliced them into beautiful strips here. And let's put one of these plates together. So we're going to start with the pasta, which we have just drained. We'll put some of that on the plate. We'll spoon some of our sauce over the top of our pasta. It's beautiful, it's rich, it's creamy, and I promise that it's absolutely delicious. Uh, this sauce is so flavorful and so rich that I do not put any grated cheese on this, um, but that's up to you, whatever your family likes. And then I'm going to put some of our delicious grilled chicken right on top and there you have it 
chicken and penne ala vodka. I hope you enjoy.